All right, so our customer Gisela just picked up her 2015 MacBook Air that we did a YouTube video on, and she was extremely happy with the laptop. She works at Starbucks, and guess what? Free drink, free drinks for life. Not just kidding, free drink today, and she also got us this. I wanted to mention it because very, very nice of her. Now, we did charge her $300 for the fix, but she saved over 70% compared to Apple, and that's why she was extremely happy. She never thought her MacBook would get fixed. Free coffee drink, reusable cup, and free snack. And here we have a MacBook Pro 13 inch. This is the mid 2012. Customer said when he press on this side of the board, the screen goes out the computer freezes and sometimes it causes the computer to beep three times. So three time beep has to do with the RAM. So I do not know what pressing this area has to do with the three beeps of the RAM. Uh, let's see. So let me turn the computer on. Now if I press on the LVDS connector area of the board, right there, see? Now the computer is frozen and it went off. So there's obviously something wrong with the LVDS connector area of the board. I would not say it's the cable because I am pressing right on the LVDS area of the board right here. So as soon as I press down, this happens. I tried another screen just to make sure it's not a LVDS cable issue and the same thing happened. When I press on the LVDS area, the screen goes off. So uh, what we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna replace the LVDS connector on the board and we'll try to see if the problem is solved. The MacBook board is disassembled. Let's go ahead and change the LVDS connector. Do we see anything unusual with the LVDS connector? I do not. But we have to change that connector anyway because as soon as you press on it, the screen goes out. It could be internal damage or or maybe the connector is not making a good connection with the LVDS cable, so we have to change it. Let's apply flux. And what I'm going to do is apply low melt solder so we can lower the melting temperature of unleaded solder. right now we can use a little bit of hot air to remove this LVDS connector
let's put a new connector on and solder it. I'm gonna pre-apply solder onto the tip and let's put some flux on the edges. I just wanna secure the connector in place so we can solder the front pins. We're gonna press on the connector so we hold it in place. Let's do the other side. and the job is done let's test make sure the pins are solid The way we're going to test this is we're going to press on the LVDS connector like we did before and we're going to see if the screen goes out. And we're going to turn the laptop on or it should turn on by itself right there. It turned on. Okay, so now I'm going to press on the LVDS connector and nothing is happening. So the problem is fixed. I'm pressing right there. Okay, very good. So the problem is fixed.